Hello you magical people welcome back on salt and sugar saga and today we are making an italian snack or italian appetizer that is rice ball or arancini and we're going to prepare it from our leftover rice so here i have taken my regular jeera rice and i've seasoned it with some salt and garlic powder you can add a little bit of cumin powder as well in this and we're going to mash it really well and i'm going to add some bread crumbs and we are mashing it so that when we'll bind it and make it a ball it comes really well so here i'm mashing 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 and i'm adding olive oil because my rice were really dry if you have a good moist uh, rice there is no need to add any olive oil in that and we'll mash it so that again we have a good crack free ball and here i'm adding some parmesan cheese uh depending on your choice if you want to add more you can add more if you want to add less you can add less completely your choice so we'll mix the cheese with the rice and mix it really well see this is so much of fun no when you have something left over in your home and you are making and very you know like exquisite uh appetizer italian appetizer it's so great <laughs> so here i'm binding it and uh, we'll make a well in the center so that we can fill it with the parmesan uh, sorry mozzarella cheese and i have taken some uh, uh, mozzarella cheese cubes if you have the shredded one i find it bit difficult for me to fill that uh, shredded mozzarella cheese in this so i i'll prefer the cubes so we'll close it seal from all the corners and keep it aside and in the same way in a fast forward way i'll show you how to do all other balls so this is done from one hand to another hand and it's perfect to go so here is a fast forward video to show you guys how i'm doing it Guys if you haven't subscribed my channel yet do not forget to subscribe my channel by clicking on the logo of Salt and Sugar Saga at the end of the video or you can do it in a old school way by clicking on the subscribe button given to you or do not forget to hit a like button if you like this recipe Okay so we are done with our balls and now we got to coat it with some corn flour some egg and then bread crumbs so here i have taken two eggs and we'll beat it and then we'll start our coating we'll do step by step first we'll coat all the balls in a uh, corn flour and then we'll come to the uh, beaten egg and bread crumbs i guess that will be easy for us okay, eat up for beating now seems good to go so we'll start coating with the flour one If you don't have corn flour you can simply use the plain flour or all purpose flour here So as i said we'll coat and uh, do not forget to dust the extra flour and now we'll coat it with egg Okay Oopsie <laughs> Okay so now we'll coat this with the bread crumbs here i'm using panko bread crumbs if you have the regular one you can use them as well i'm dabbing so that uh, the bread crumbs sticks really well with the egg wash uh, sorry beaten egg okay so here we go now we'll coat all in a same way in a fast forward video
guys do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified for all the updates and here we're gonna fry them and keep rolling them so that you will get evenly brown crust from all the sides so I'm frying them on medium to high heat so that will have a nice golden crust as well as melted center The balls are looking so gorgeous so it's plating time so I'm gonna plate them with some marinara sauce because they taste delicious with that so we'll add some cilantro a touch of herb is always good and here we have our own arancini balls made at home and let's take a sneak peek how it looks that's ooey gooey so guys do subscribe see you next time until then take care bye bye keep watching salt and sugar saga